I think the the striking impact of his work for the greatest uh, ethical challenge of our age of, of climate change um, is really a mark of of the greatness of his work. One of the things that we we are very sensitive to in this age is uh, this question of what future lies ahead for not just for our children but for our grandchildren for for the world i think we're we're very conscious of the fragility of our planet and what might lie in the future uh, and we face very difficult questions as a society about uh, should we how much weight should we give to the the lives of people who not only don't yet exist, but who might not exist. How, how much weight should we give to that compared to the weight that we give to the people here and now? Uh, now, I think some people are inclined to think that we should, uh, we should give much greater weight to the people around us, the people who already exist, that we shouldn't give moral weight to people who might or might not exist depending on things that happen in the future. Um, but I, I think Derek had very powerful arguments in his book Reasons and Persons why our bias towards the present is just that, it's a, it's a bias, our bias towards people who exist now, our bias towards people close to us is another type of ethical bias, it's a type of moral blindness. Uh, and also he, he made very persuasive arguments that although these decisions that we might make, for example, about climate change, uh, is the climate going to rise by one degree, two degree, three degrees? Yes, it might change who exists, but it, it absolutely matters morally that whether humanity continues to exist and whether people live good and happy lives in the future or really difficult, unhappy, impoverished lives in the future. Uh, so I, th I think that very powerful, quite simple argument has enormous ramifications for us as a planet, uh, as a global community, and how, how we respond to the challenges that we face. And obviously this is not a question that we've, we've sorted out as a global community. Uh, there are some very substantial uh, vested interests at stake that mean that we as a community haven't always managed to, to take seriously the, the lives of those who, who will exist in the future. But uh, I think Derek's work makes it abundantly clear that if we fail to do so, we are failing in our, in our moral duty, um, that this is one of the most important things that we, uh, that faces us and certainly one of the most important moral questions of our age.